Good day viewers, welcome to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. Call Mathematics, Passy September 2024, objective question number 6. If the variable P is inversely proportional to Q squared, so if the variable P is inversely proportional to Q squared, so this is how P and Q squared relate inversely. This is how we write it. We can transform this into an equation. It becomes P is equal to. So we introduce the constant of proportionality. I'm representing that as K. So K on Q squared. Now we are told that when P is 2.25 q is 6 so with this information we can substitute the values of p and q into the equation now we are told that p is 2.25 so this should be equal to k and then we are told that q is 6 so 6 squared and we have 2.25 is equal to k on you know that c squared is 36. so now 2.25 can be written as 2.25 on 1 so we can do the cross multiplication so we have 36 times 2.25 this should be equal to 1 times k which is k so let's simplify 36 times 2.25 we have 81 is equal to k so k is equal to 81 so we can now write the full equation that connects p and then q we have p is equal to so k here is 81 on q squared so this is the equation connecting p and q now we are to find p when q is 3. We are to find p when q is 3. So when q is 3, have p is equal to 81 on 3 squared. So p is 81 on what is 3 squared? 3 squared is 9. So what is p? 81 divided by 9. So that is. Nine. Then looking at the alternative, they corrected the answer to the to one decimal place. So one decimal place, we have nine point zero. So the right answer is option D. Thanks for watching.